world can't touch Last name, evil, evil. first name, genius, green land It's a fucking invasion, you bastards The one and only Riff Raff in the building with us, man Invasion on Hip Hop Nation We got a special overseas, long distance Korean Executive boss call right now Who's on that warm line, that bat line, who's this? This is a boss, boss man, Diplo Oh, oh, big deal. What's what's up, homie? There's a lot of bosses in here tonight. Yeah, it's like a boss summit. <laughs> uh. Boss so, Fiesta. Huh. What's now, going on, now, guys? Diplo, what's up? What part of the world you in? Uh, I'm in Tokyo. Ah, okay. Yeah. I- Ichiban. Yeah, Ichiban San Nan Chi. Shiki Wiki. I'm just here, you know, betting on some sumo matches. Oh, Find nice. some jewels. Nice, nice. Listen, we got your boy Riff Raff in here. How did that connection happen? Um, you know, we just, uh, I don't know how. I got his number. I just called him up and said, hey, what's going on? Let's put in some work. And then uh, we just connected. He's been out in L.A. for a little while, so we just, you know, making moves, treating the whole world like a Monopoly game, you know. Okay. And then we just, we just worked on an album for him, and we just uh, linked up, and we're going to do a record with him. On uh, Mad Decent, and then uh, put out that three local record. And he's always just been around the studio. And we've just been putting in work the last couple of months with the whole crew. So, what do you see in in uh, Riff Raff? Yeah, because a lot of people see? might be scratching their head at the combination. Um, well, I, you know, I produce a lot of rap records. People don't. People think I'm just like I do like uh, a lot of, like a lot of house music and major laser this kind of stuff. But I've been doing rap music since I started. I just think Riff Raff for me is like he covers all the bases. I mean, he's the stuff that we've done in the studio, he doesn't even care. He just, he just, his personality comes out on every kind of record, you know? He doesn't seem, he's like the first rapper I've worked with that doesn't take, doesn't even think twice about what's gonna, what he's gonna do. He just kind of goes and just puts everything into, into a song, you know? Doesn't even question, like, what it's about. He just kind of goes and this is like my record, you know? He kind of owns every record we do together, so I like that kind of, like, that confidence that he has. And, and he's just creative, man, and he just, I don't know, he just, I feel like he's like a, um, got more you see you can see by the right records you guys are playing on the radio he's got like more lyrics than anybody they just like you can just listen all day long and just you know <laughs> you're gonna make going some people mad with that <laughs> you know you heard that cosign he just, yeah i mean i'm saying he just like he just he just he, he never it's just like he, he, he pulls things out of nowhere like he just comes out of the, the craziest angles with, with, with his lyrics and you know I think they were trying to hone it down and try to put it together a solid record. I think that he can he, he's going to take over 2013. It's going to be all about Riff Raff. Wow. You're going to make him mad with that one, baby. <laughs> Diplo, it sounds like the feeling's mutual, too, because he was just saying that rather than go to a major label, he was right. drawn to you and your crew because of the environment and, and the realness that you surround yourself with. Yeah, I mean, we start. We're like, we're like really low, low fi indie, but we're about to actually buy Sony and all those other labels. I think after I make all this money in oh. Tokyo on these demo matches, so it's, we're about to be bigger than all those labels. That's what's up. Soon, That's so. what's up. You know, there you I go. A, I need an A and R job. You know, just, <laughs> just keep that in mind, bro. Yeah, I got you. We're just gonna hire mad A and R's. More than we're gonna have more A and R's than artists. This be like <laughs> a whole new, whole new game. Dope. I like that business model. Yo, Diplo, salute you, big homie, man. Calling from Japan. Yeah, um, man. Sixteen some hours uh, time difference, man, and uh, you know we, we look forward to uh, big things with you and Riff Raff, and and I was just bigging you up before we got you, got you on the phone. Oh, good man. Last like, I saw you was last I saw you was in the uh, studio with FKI. Yeah, that, yeah, the homies, back. man. Yeah, they're blowing up yeah, too, yeah. man. I know you see it. Yeah, they definitely are. I knew they were gonna blow up too. Those are my homies for real. Oh, anyway, yeah. thanks for the support and uh, yeah, congratulations on everything, uh, Diplo. And we look forward to thanks, seeing guys. what you guys. Cook up. Right. Yeah, thanks, Doing Diplo. Well, shit. Hey, di- I want to <laughs> say, Dip- Diplo make my job easy. I ain't got to say much when he on the phone. He he put it straight out there. He bring the rice yeah. out, too. Hey, kill him <laughs> out there in Korea. I know he going to bring out the rice out there. <laughs> Riff Rap read the whole script I just read, so he just texted it to me. I just read it. Uh, <laughs> you just fucked me over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Riff Rap. Yeah. We, we know you from your Soldier Boy right. affiliation. Right. What is the status of that? Soldier Boy. Oh, they, they, they even stopped the beat on that. Ah, man. Like, so like, oh, shit. Everybody on there. Right the it's like an N1 play. Somebody just crossed them. Like, oh, shit. Is he going to dunk? Look. Now, the Soulja Boy situation, that, that's always going to be my friend. Because from day one, he's always been supportive and always been uh, 
down to help down to be a good teammate whatsoever. But at the same time, he's pushing his career. You know what I'm saying? I'm put I'm pushing my career. I got team people pushing me. He got team people pushing him. At this time, it's like he's he got to focus on him. I got to focus on me. We're always gonna be friends. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still gonna promote SOD for the fact that he pushing me. But at the same time, I just uh, did this situation, this deal with Diplo. We're gonna be fully more promoted to where I, I feel like I'm. I have a full batch of team behind me, fully promoting me where I really need to be. You know what I mean? How did you and Diplo meet each other? Well, we've been talking for a couple years. Um, we've been like friends. But as time progressed, I still repeatedly do doing music. I'm watching this Lakers game and talking to you at the same at time. At the same at damn the same time. damn time. So now, I'm watching now, this. Now, but if you don't know who, Diplo, if you don't know who Diplo is, real quick, I'm gonna okay. cut you off real quick. If you don't know who Diplo is, Diplo is a very influential electronic dance DJ producer. He's a uh, he like that new Usher hit, Climax. Right. He produced that. Right. He produced uh, the Wale Slight Work. He produced right. Chris Brown and uh, Busta, Busta Rhymes. Rhymes. Yep. You know, real dope guy. But he's he's technically he's, he's in the behind dance the lane. scene. Yeah, but he's, the thing is, he's produced so many hits that are being in the hip hop, the music world, like M M I A. If you remember yeah. her, uh, oh, like yeah. he, he's produced and so pond, many tracks. The, the pond the floor as Major oh, Lazer. Yeah, yeah, pond, yeah. He's part of the Major Lazer, but but he owns the Mad Decent. But the thing with him is he's behind so many big projects in any type of music venue where you hear uh, indie music, you hear rap, hip hop, uh, pop. He just did stuff for any anybody who you can think of who ever been on the radio. He didn't produce tracks for them on the album. He didn't just did for Usher's next album that's coming out. Uh, Justin Bieber, all that. So he's uh, certified. He's basically the white pop version of Dr. Dre. Wow. wow. If, 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 if the more universal version of a Dr. Dre. So Not to take anything away from a Dr. Dre or Timbaland, but he's the more underground version of that. How do you link up with Diplo? How did I? Yeah. Um. Actually, it was about two years ago, and um, he had hit me up. I I, I had heard of him, but I didn't know how influential and how much of a power he was yeah as we started talking we ended up being friends first before we started actually doing the music within the last few months like he really just was like man it's time for us to just go ahead and blast off you might as well i've been holding out for so long paperwork wise i've never signed any paperwork with anybody so for him to come at me like that and it's somebody who i trust and a label who i trust and like i've seen what they've already been able to do in the type of producing the type of songs they can create so it's like it was a no-brainer i had to go with it because it was it had the longevity of it what, what, is, what is Diplo and Riff Raff going to sound like? I can oh, only man. imagine. Just re repeat. The thing is, it's going to be a whole bunch of new type of music. It's not necessarily all going to be rap, but at the same time, it's the longevity of the factor. It's not like I'm just like, oh, I'm trying to come out and make this hip-hop record. Oh, I'm trying to come out and make this pop record. No, it's a five-year. We have over 40, 50 songs that are already just been done, mm. but at the same time, I, Every day I make a new track. So it's, it's, it's a longevity factor. It's a career based around it more than just like, oh, let's try to put up together this rap uh, album and see what it does. No, it's not like that. Mm. I'm, not, I'm glad I didn't sign with a major to be like, because most majors, they, they're going to sign you and then put a little money behind you, put a little attention behind you, see how you do the first week in sales. And then like if, if you flop or you don't do 100, 200, 300,000 in the first week, then they're going to be like, oh, let's hold off on these videos. Let's hold off on all this shit. Yep. Let's put you on the shelf for four or five years. Yep. Well, Mad Decent is more of my friends, and I, I trust everybody on that label. I trust Diplo as a friend mm. and as a person, and he's already been putting money in my pocket and putting putting uh, things on the table. So we talk as friends. He actually wants to see me succeed. So to be able to firsthand one-on-one -on -one deal with the label and have somebody call 24 hours a day to push me out there, I had to go with it. Well, I heard, it's, it's I heard there's, a, I heard there's a, a a watch involved or a chain involved. A chain, or? a chain. He just dropped. Uh, he just dropped thirty thousand of a forty five thousand dollars chain that's that's being made for me right now. It's gonna be a dope. It's a dope chain. I can't reveal exactly what it does, but it's gonna be some. What extra it does? Shit. I can't. It, it <laughs> does some shit. It, it does things. It does things. Okay. Listen. Uh, it's it's invasion. Invasion. Three letters. The evil genius. Bring them. A seven seven sixty hip hop invasion on hip hop nation. That's what it is, man. We here every Monday night, ten p.m. to midnight. It's invasion.